Okay, um, <coughs> good morning everyone and welcome to our RWDC. Um, I'm we are really uh, happy to meet you. We are, uh, as introduced from Usi Sensei, we are a uh, second gener generation student and I'm Hyun Tae Chin from Korea and here is Takumi Ba. Okay, so this time is uh, the lecture for MATLAB and have you ever used this language, MATLAB? Yes? Okay. You? No. How about you? No. Okay. Uh, how about like you, another uh, programming language like C or C++ or Python and kinds of, have you ever, do you have any experience with Python? Python? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I silo. Okay. How about you? No. Okay. Um, maybe then uh, it is quite Mm, kind of interesting, maybe, because maybe for you, you, as you already have experience of using this MATLAB, it is quite very easy, <laughs> easy kind of course. But for another, uh, the other students, this is very important because especially you will uh, use this MATLAB language for your. Uh, is it? Later, later semester. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you will have some um, a course class using this MATLAB and maybe using this for data analysis or another kind of applications. So you will make some programs for uh, using this program language. Okay, so here is the contents of today's lecture. First, I will introduce the MATLAB. So what is MATLAB and why we use MATLAB? And apl some applications and use cases with some demo uh, demonstration programs. And after that, uh, there is very simple kind of test. Um, yeah, S simple test. Not, not test, maybe it's just practice. Uh, kind of, yeah, practice or, yeah just use using this MATLAB. So first, let's start from the what is MATLAB. So MATLAB is a matrix laboratory. So from literally, it is very easy to use matrix. So uh, yeah, I'll, as I will show you later, if you calculate with some matrix, then it is very easy to write a uh, code in this MATLAB. And this MATLAB is a high level program language. And for another languages, there are two kinds of program language. One is low, low level language, and the other is high level language. In low level program language, there are assembly language or some machine codings. And as a high level program language, there are C, C++, or Java, or Python, or something. So what is the difference is, for example, uh, in case of assembly language, here are some code for uh, using assembly language. So you can see here, maybe you don't know what these codes are doing, but in case of MATLAB, so here is like, okay, we, we can know, oh, it is function. And if you uh, have some knowledge about the matrix, then it is very easy to understand what kind of calculation it is doing. And also in the loop, uh, if you write some loop in the programming, then yeah, you can use like for or while, so you can understand, okay, just like in some English. Oh, sorry. And this MATLAB is an interactive technology computing environment. So you can develop some algorithms. And also, you can use it for data analysis or numerical uh, computation. So if you use this MATLAB, you can also use like another so many uh, libraries or some 
which is also called toolboxes, like you can use it for like math and optimization or uh, data uh, data analysis or uh, okay, let's see, or for example, image analysis, image processing also. You will have this Simulink, which is for simulation and model-based uh, based design, like this. This Simulink is based on G, uh, graphical user interface. So you can just put some blocks here on the board like this, and then you can connect the boxes uh, as you want. And you can also change some parameters of each um, calculation of the box in these boxes. So why do we use MATLAB? Is first, it is very easy to use. So yeah, I hope it is very use, uh, easy for you also. And it is also quick to learn because it is a high level language. So if you just uh, remember some functions, then you can use it very quickly. And there are so many good documentations also, and it has very big library uh, or toolboxes with very many functions. For example, if you want to uh, do some, I would say, machine learning using neural network, then you can use the neural network without any knowledge about that, just using some boxes or some functions of this MATLAB. So it is very easy to use. And you can also uh, manipulate, for example, some robots or some vehicles also if you use this MATLAB. And this MATLAB is also widely used for uh, teaching and research in university or some companies. So it is quite uh, helpful after your graduation or uh, on your research also. Here are some examples of application and usage of MATLAB. Uh, it can be used for numerical computation like algebra or statistics optimizations and so on, or uh, signal processing or image processing. Also, communication system, control system, financial modeling and analysis, also uh, computation biology. So it supports some vectors and matrix operations. So you can uh, use it, how say, you can write the code just like um, no more uh, mathematical computation. For example, uh, if you calculate, um, calculate, uh, how say, vector and mat uh, some mathematical calculation using vectors and uh, metrics, you just write some uh, symbols exp uh, expressing the vectors or metrics. Like, for example, let's see here is this vector, like one, two, and here is, um, a matrix like this. Then you can calculate this one. For example, C, uh, one, two, A vector times B. You can just calculate it, write this, right? You write this one in mathematical usual way. You can write that calculation in the program just like that. Like you can write this calculation like A times B. Just same. So it is very easy to calculate, uh, write the code. And it also supports data analysis process. Like, um, for example, you can just reduce noises from the image or from some uh, from sound signals using some very uh, easy uh, functions. 
It also support 2D and 3D plotting like this. And yeah, you can use so many built-in uh, toolboxes or functions from the MATLAB. So let's see uh, demonstration programs. Here is the visualization function in the MATLAB. This is just uh, a captured window of MATLAB. And you can just animate, anim or you can make this kind of animation very easily. It shows some animated uh, simulation result. So it, let's see, just it is a car and it is going and another, the other cars are following them. So you can write this kind of animation using MATLAB. And about the other demonstrations, could you send? Okay, so uh, maybe in later semester, yeah, later semester, you will write some code like signal processing or classification of image using this MATLAB. So. <laughs> By far, do you have any question for about the MATLAB or anything? No? Okay. Then let's move to practice. Okay, practice. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to the matter of practice. Oh. This practice purpose is uh, <laughs> uh, so, so the, as he said, the MATLAB is uh, the main tool for programming. And <coughs> then the, in this leading program, the uh, advanced lectures on the real world data analysis, oh, 2016, <laughs> no, 2018, uh, will be held. So this co in this course, uh, uh, we have to use MATLAB. So so that everybody must have programming skill using the MATLAB. And uh, Sui Sensei, what is the follow up? Ah, I understand. Then and uh, uh, so there will be a like Compensation lectures on the matter programming for uh, April or May to September. It is uh, a follow-up lecture for MATLAB. Then uh, this lecture is start from the elementary level to the higher level. So please join this lecture if you have. Nanda, uh, <laughs> well, if you if you want to uh, learn. So please join this course. Okay, so the first uh, practice. So uh, please, uh, how, to, how to say, please create the, this kind of matrix. So from one to 81 and uh, dimension nine by nine. To create a matrix in MATLAB, you can use a signal like um, <coughs> bracket. Then, uh, for example, if you create like this, then it means that the result, uh, its result is one times three vectors. One times three vector with element one, two, three. And if you use this semicolon if instead of column, then you will get three times one vector. Uh, so it it comes column vector like. And in case of metrics, you can use both 
of this signal, like one, two, semicolon, three, four. Then it outputs one, two, three, four. So if you use this column, it, uh, the column is changing to the next column. And if you use this semicolon, then the row contains. So if you want to make uh, the matrix, <laughs> so if you want this, uh, create this matrix with element from 1 to 81, how to do that? I think you can make it now. Just like this, one, two, three, four. And if you you can put four elements inside this bracket, and you can change the row using this semicolon. Then you can put one, two, three, two, seventy-nine, eight, eighty-one. But it is very annoying to type the whole elements, right? It's very time consuming, right? So there is another way to make this uh, matrix. Uh, okay, uh, uh, he said that, uh, 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 how to say? Well, just writing the every number is a very annoying. So uh, this is a, a another answer for this kind of matrix. <coughs> so this one is uh, writing the every numbers uh, using common and the semicolon or something. <coughs> but another solution is uh, at first uh, uh, prepare the zero matrix at first and uh, using the for loop for uh, from one to nine and uh, one to nine, it is uh, also the i and a j. <laughs> then uh, input the uh, every time so the, uh, the from one to nine or uh, ten to eighteen. The, this is uh, one uh, one solution. Oh, okay. Um, before <laughs> using that, I realized that you only have uh, that comment window on your method window, maybe, right? So, yeah, uh, I think it's quite difficult to use script now. Uh, first, let's start to make this vector. So, on your window, you can type this bracket and some elements inside, element, comma, element, comma, and co element, and bracket again. Then you can see the vector from the MATLAB window thing. So let's do that first. Just type bracket, and yeah, then you can see the result. So if you type only this bracket and elements, the output comes out, uh, the vectors of course, but there is no, uh, how to say, in your <coughs> backlight window, on the right side, when right side of backlight window, then you may see some variable inside of backlight. So if you type, if you didn't type any kinds of uh, secret, signal like A or B, any kind of, then you may see A and S answer. But if you type, so if you click this answer, uh, the variable, then you can see the result this you type, like one, two, three, any kind of, you type. But um, to save that uh, matrix or vectors in some another space, you can define the variable like A or B, anything. Just try this to make 
of course, the raw vector is uh, okay. Then you can see this A or B on the um, variable window. Please try this, like A equal or B equal. Then you will get the variables which have the elements inside. And also try to uh, make this matrix. For example, if you, uh, when you have a vector, you can overwrite, okay, you can change the elements. If, for example, if you try this one, one, two, three, four, then this element will change. So uh, here is an, another example to make um, two times nine matrix, which has element from one to 18. So you can type the whole elements like this, then you can make the matrix. And in this case, it the matrix result is saved in uh, symbol A. So you can see from the workspace, you can see this the matrix you defined before. and it also shows that it is two times nine matrix uh, having double elements. So if you double click that A uh, variable, then you can see the el whole elements of the matrix inside. So um, let me tell you very useful command to create continuous numbers. Please try one colon five. One colon five. Oh, with bracket. Then it will output continuous num uh, number of element from one to five. So this first number means the start of the numbers and the second element is the end of numbers. So it will output from this first element to second element as a continuous integers. So you can easily know that if you want to make the numbers, continuous numbers from one to 81 as our examples, you can use this command, eight colon 81, uh, one colon 81, then it will output one to, uh, how is it, one vector with elements from one to 81. But in this case, it is just a vector, not matrix. Uh, of course, it's kind of matrix, but it is one time 81 matrix, right? So now what you have to do is you have to change the row after like nine, then you have to change the row and it will continue to 18. And you also have to change the row again. So how to do this is you can reshape this vector or matrix to another uh, type another shape of matrix. For example, in our case, we have to uh, create uh, reshape it to nine times nine times nine uh, matrix, right? So you can use the command named reshape. Reshape. So literally, this function reshape reshape the vector or um, the matrix. So this function requires two elements. First one is uh, what you want to change. So in our case, we have want to change this uh, long vector from one to 81. So you can type this one to 81. 
And the second element is um, the shape of the new shape of matrix we want to change. So in our case, we want to change to oh, nine, 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 So you can use this uh, vector showing the, the number of elements, the number of rows, and the number of columns. So in our case, both the number of column and rows are 9. So you can type bracket 9, comma 9. Then it will output the result like that. So just try this. Reshape bracket 1 to 81, comma 9, comma 9. I hope you will get the result, correct result. I <laughs> think. then you may get that kind of that result. Like 9 times 9 matrix with elements 1 to 9. But it, it doesn't change to on the same row, but in uh, same column. So you have to uh, transpose this um, matrix. So how to transpose this matrix is dash the dash. So if you, um, for example, if you put this result in the symbol large A, then you can change the shape of, uh, you can transpose this matrix like A dash. Then you will get that one. And also if you save this result in the symbol a then you can just like write a equal a transport then the result of transpose will be uh, saved in symbol a and you you can also uh, check the result from your workspace and double click the matrix you saved So is it okay? Okay, let's move on to next. Okay, so let's move on to second practice. Uh, so now you have this uh, mat nine times nine matrix from one to 81. So now what we want is extract some um, matrix, some elements from this, uh, the matrix we created. So first, uh, we want to <coughs> extract this uh, 3 times 3 matrix, which has um, the elements 19, 20, 12, uh, 21, and 28, 29, 30, 30, 37, 38, and 39. It is just part of the matrix we created, so we have to um, extract this one, and also another M2 from So to do this, uh, we have to access to the elements of matrix. So usually in matrix, oh, by the way, uh, I want to check just one thing. Do you have knowledge about the vector or matrix? I, yeah, you? No. Uh, uh, do you have a knowledge of a matrix? So like um, calculation of matrix or I would say. 
マトリックスの計算はもう大丈夫 ?OK。So you are you okay with matrix? Using matrix or 大丈夫ですかはい。OK。You? I'm sure. OK。So let's see.、Um, because for example,、uh, let's suppose that there is a matrix with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. Elements, three times three metrics. So we want to access each element from this matrix. Like, usually in mathematics, you use like i and j to access the element. So this i means the number of rows, and j shows. The number of columns. So if you, for example, B1, 2, or sometimes it doesn't use any、uh, columns, so like B1, 2, then it shows 2, this one, the first row and second column. So the elements of first row and second column is 2, right? So let's do it in the MATLAB. So now we have a very big matrix, and let's access to this 4T. So in this 4T,、uh, the number of r o w is it is in fifth rows and fourth column, right? <laughs> So, in the MATLAB, you can just write this using this bracket. In this case, 1, 2 is 2. So, if you want to access like 4T, you can type A bracket、um, fifth, so 5, and fourth column, so 4. Just type this and enter. Then what do you get? <coughs> Just try to use this one A bracket、uh, 5, 4. And type enter. Did you get 40? Okay, perfect. So, this is how to access to elements inside the matrix. So, the next one is less to access to multiple、um, elements. So, if you want to、uh, get these four elements, extract these four elements into one matrix, then you can make like matrix. C equal to、uh, C equal bracket, like for example, B first column, for,、uh, first row, first column, and B、uh, one, two, and semicolon, B two, one, column B two, two, right? That you will get each element from the matrix and put to a、uh, new matrix, right? Then you will get this matrix. So it, it is also one way to get、um, extracted matrix from another matrix. But it is. Also, very annoying to type the whole elements and whole、uh, the number of rows or columns, right? So, another way is using the vector and column. Um, as you can see here. The first one is the number of row. 
And the second element was the number of columns, right? So these four elements, or this one uh, small matrix, is um, expressed by, uh, I would say, B, the first to second row, first to second row, and first to second columns of B, right? It is just first to second, first to second of rows and columns of B. So just try this one using vector. B bracket one, two, two, comma, one, two, two. Then you will get this one. Then you will get this small one. Of course, you can just use, you don't have to create this B. You can also use like matrix A because it is just same matrix. Then you will get the matrix, kind of small matrix from the another matrix. Okay, then you can uh, extract the matrix in the this area here, the M1 and M2, which has elements like this. You already have this big matrix, and the M1 is just small matrix inside the matrix. So you can extract that using this kind of access command. So next practice is now you have two matrices, uh, extracted matrices from the big one. And you can calculate use both um, matrices. So first one is M1 times M2, and the second one is M1 plus M2. Times? Hmm. Um, actually, in usual matrix calculation, if you use this cross signal, it shows uh, it means outer product, right? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, not inner product. But in this case, just try the inner product instead of this one. So just this one, M1 dot M2. This is it, inner product, right? So please try this one. And the second one is M1 plus M2. Maybe you can get this M1 plus M2 just using this signal, plus signal, cross signal you will get uh, the matrix has elements which are uh, plus two um, elements from two matrices. And in case of this inner product, maybe you can use this signal, which is uh, usually uh, used as, how say, um, multiplication for multiplication in programming language. So for the first one, so now um, you will have this M1 and M2 like this, and let's try the M1 times M2 inner products of, with N2 using that, uh, that signal. So if you type N1, uh, M1, ascrit M2, then you will get the inner product of two matrices. 
And if you type the plus signal, then M1 plus M2, then yeah, you can get this one. Did you get it? OK. OK, so next practice is uh, 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 uh. Oh, OK. The next one is first extract this two uh, matrices and calculate this transpose matrix of M3 and calculate of M4 plus M3. So we can predict the result by calculate by hand, like M3 will be 30, 22. And M4, So you will you should have these two matrices and as a result of first calculation you will get um, 13, 14, 15, 22, 23, 24. This is just transpose as M3, right? And if you calculate M3 plus M3 transpose, then maybe you will get 61, oh, 71, oh, 71, 81, 81, 91. OK, so please try that and check your result is this. So now you already know how to uh, get the transpose. It was using the dash command. And the addition calculation is just plus, C, plus command. So to get the M3, you can use like that. the rows from 2 to 3 and columns from 4 to 6. So you will get this, yeah, the matrix. And as an M4, it was from 6 to 8, mm, 3 to 4 columns. 6 to 8 and 3 to 4. Then you will get this mat the matrix and the transpose of, of M3 is M3 dash, right? So in this case, it just, uh, it is, the result is saved in the symbol M3T. So the second calculation of M4 plus M3 transpose is M4 plus M3T or just you can also use M3 dash on here. So then you will get the result. Oh. Yeah, like this. Of course, um, as you may know, you cannot calculate just M3 plus M4, right? Because its size is different from each other. So you may get error if you try this one, M3 plus M4 then it will say uh, the number of columns or the number of rows are not yeah, available to calculate this one. OK, so let's move on to next practice. The next one, OK, so next one is create the sine wave like this. You can use the sine function just like usual symbol of math, uh, mathematics, like sine S-I-N and bracket and the angle inside. So for example, 
if you want to use これってラジアンだっけサインでラジアンだったあ、um, in this comment you have to put the angle as a radi radian not an、uh, not degree so for example if you try to、um, get the sign the value of sign of 30 degree you won't get the result with typing just sign bracket 30 because this 30 is、uh, considered as a degree uh not uh, sorry radian so for example if you get if you put um and you want to get that yeah ラジオを忘れた<笑>何がいいんだろうこれは6分の倍パ,パイってなんだっけパイって入れれるっけパイってシグナルあるっけ違うんだっけ,だっけ、um, I'm not sure there is a signal to for pi or not but yeah you will get this one Um, どうやってやっけあさっき普通のパイで入れるだけ PNI、right? OK So if you want to type this one pi divided by 6 maybe right? <laughs> So if you want to get、uh, use this pi phi <coughs> In the comment,、uh, in the code, then you can use just pi in the small. pi. So just try this sine bracket pi divided six or just any kinds of angle. Then you will get the result of the sine value. Yeah, like that. So、um, the practice was.、Um, Create the sine wave of the x values which start from 0 to、uh, 360. First, you can make this vector, x vector, from 0 to、uh, 360, right? Using just creation function bracket 0 to 360. Using colon. And then you will get a very long vector of x. Like this. Yeah. So we have to get the sign value of each、uh, element of x. So, how to use that is just sign using sign command and put the x vector in the bracket. Then you will get the whole sign values of each,、uh, each element of x, each、um, degree of x. But this x may be. Shows the degree, right? Not the radian. So if you want to get the sine value, you have to、uh, convert this x to radian degree, radian angle, right?、And、then you may use this one. How to、uh, get, how to convert this degree to radian? Is just、uh, times pi divided by 180. So if you、um, just multiplicate this、uh, pi divided by 180, then the x will be converted to radian. And if you put the converted value inside the sine 
comment, then you will get the correct number, correct value of sign value. P1. <laughs> Did you get? Did you get the result? So now you will get uh, a long column vector with 361 elements inside and the sign value of x. So the next is let's plot the result like this in the graph. So to plot the value or the point anything, you can use the command plot. And you can put um, if you put just like A and B then it will show you uh, A and the point of point has x uh, A of x value and B of y value. And if you put the vector inside, then for example, like one, two, and three and four, then it will output to points like 1,3 and 2,4. So because this is x and this is y. So one x is first, x, uh, first point has the x of 1 and 3 of y. And the second point has 2 of x and 4 of y. So what we want is plot the whole axis, x, um, whole elements of x. So you can just put the x inside the first elements, and the, as a second one, you can put the result of this calculation. So sine x like this. Right. Of course, this x. It's not um, the converted one, so you can put x times pi divided by 6, oh, 180. So you will get the plotted graph after typing this one. Or you can just put this result inside new vector called named y and you can plot by x comma y. So just try this one. But but but, but first, you want to write graph. So, first, figure. Ah, you look. Okay, so if you type this figure uh, bracket, then you will get just blank window open, and you can type plot command. Then you will get the graph inside the window. So if you type figure, then you will get the window, the blank window. And if you type the plot and x and sine function, x 
まあ X でもいいと思うよ X, X でいいと思うけどうん So if you type this comment then you will get Okay You will get the number But in this case uh, because the x value, the vector for x was um, just a ve converted vector. So it, it, it starts from 0 to uh, 6 point something. So if you put not converted vector, then you will get like 360 x axis. So as a first element, if you put x, then sign x right here. <coughs> so if you put not converted one, then you will get like this one. The x-axis from 0 to 360 and y from minus 1 to 1. And in the practice, uh, you are assigned to practice. OK, so it should be, it should have amplitude of 5. So it means that you should multiply 5 from the sign values. Then you will get the amplitude of 5. And uh, to add like this kind of uh, title or axis, um, what the axis means, you can type uh, title. You can use this comment, title. And Okay, like here, then you will get the title. And to add the label of X, you can use the command X label. And if you want to put label on the Y axis, then you can put Y label. So please try this one. Uh, put title anything in labels of on x axis and y axis. Okay, so the practice was end, and here are some reference. And as he said, like we have a follow up lecture after this one, so you may uh, get more functions or you may get more uh, how say knowledge about using on um, using MATLAB by this textbook so you will use this textbook and yes you will study more about the MATLAB and practice more and more so you can use this MATLAB for data analysis in the class okay so you can also refer the uh, documentation in from the website, official website of MATLAB, or some just any other documentation in the Google. There are so many documentations, so please uh, find any kinds of um, documentation if you want to know. Okay, so uh, maybe this is end of this lecture, maybe? Yeah, okay, so thank you.